Digital transformation is said to be beneficial by increasing efficiency, access to new markets, as well as making business or rather creating business opportunities. Tonight, we scrutinize that and we hear from none other from than the founder and director of RobiSearch, Robert Manyala. Karibu sana. Thank you so much. How is the business environment when it comes to operating within the digital space? What's the status report? Thank you so much. Uh, there are a lot of things that have changed. Uh, for many years until today and actually through digital so many things have changed. Mm -hmm. We have people ha who are able now to work from wherever they are and they can be able to deliver. People who are not able to reach more customers we have now like a global e economy a global village where people can be able to meet one another in one space. So many things have changed and that's why they say if you don't change, change will change you. Uh -huh. And as we say that digital transformation is inevitable. But now let's look at uh, you know, uh, we had an introduction of uh, the digital service under the income tax how has this impacted on uh, you know businesses that are operating on a digital space uh, it has affected uh people in different ways. Uh, one way there are people who currently have been paying tax the normal way and realize also the one for digital they're also paying so it's like this double paying in some scenario Well, there are other people who have not been paying who they're only paying one. So if there's a way that it can be harmonized such that it affects uh, all the parties in the same way, yeah. I think that will be the only best way without maybe redundancy. And if any case also maybe government could be able to find a way that we can only have one tax for all can be good because in case there very many different taxes that also might affect various people and uh, because most people currently are using digital to maybe earn income we have people are just uh, who just left school a few days ago and they get into digital so if there's a way that they can be able to maybe say up to this level you can be able to pay up to this level so you must be able to reach a given level so that, to, to get that. Uh, so that you can pay now explain to us in a nutshell what exactly Roby research limited is about Robbie Search Limited is an ICT company that develops software. So we do two main things. We do software development, that is like point of sale, ERP, bulk SMS, and uh, what is called digital suggestion box, as well as rent collection software. Mm -hmm. On the other side, we do what is called hashtags. We do uh, online marketing. We online make you marketing. trend on Twitter for a good reason. Uh -huh. Exactly. Now, there we say data is king. How safe? How do you assure safety of data of these clients and also the data that you know you collect while you're rendering your service? Thank you so much. The, what we do, which is unique to any other company in terms of, uh, so, uh, in terms of uh, digital marketing, uh, we post the data of what you do, not maybe like your contact, your email. For example, if you go to Twitter today, maybe we hashtag uh, RobySearch, for example, you'll be able to see RobySearch trending and whatever is there is basically only what we want people to know. Uh, for example, today maybe there's an event happening at KCC and Robbie Search can take opportunity to make it trend on Twitter. In such regard we only tell people it will be happening such a day and this is the reason why it is happening basically. So we also ensure that we follow the Data Protection Act that we have in Kenya. Then again also we try to train people in a way that at the end of the day they can be able to do it right. We have so many people looking for food in various ways but they don't know how to do it. That's why Robbie Search has what is called Free Market Day last Friday of the month where we give free <laughs> Now we might actually give you an in invoice because you're using this platform to tell you know to market Robbie such and that we might give you an invoice for marketing and <laughs> now let's steer away from the issue of data data safety this is something that has come up and we have the data commissioner saying that you know they are data um, providers and they're those who are also handling this particular data have you had a case of, of leaked information or data and how would you handle that uh, advantage is that we have been able to take uh, action because uh, based on what we do because we develop a lot of software like ERP so what we do when we come to you and your customer and you need a bookkeeping software what we do first we have what is called an SLA agreement that this is only what belongs to us so if we give you this system we give this point of sale we'll do everything and hover everything to you so all your data you're the one to back back up the data you're the one who's supposed to know where everything is only Robby search come in when maybe you need a support that's all and we ask you your password uh, if any case we have to log into your system and help you that is basically what we do and if it is digital marketing we only get the data which is relevant regarding that, your product to that particular issue now we've seen the government come out and say that they are doing so much to enhance you know internet connectivity you know 200 or 25,000 Wi-Fi free wives wife Wi-Fi hotspots across the country what is your take you know from a point of view that you are a player within uh, this particular value chain 
Great. Uh, my take will be that it's a very good initiative, but they say a big house without uh, maybe utensils or without anything inside it might not be good. So if in any case we have website or we have internet, is there a way we can train them? Is there a way they can be told now you have free internet instead of just using it to browse everywhere? Can you use it to, so that you can be able to have something at the end of the day? Can you even post something on your status? Somebody can be able to see and buy what you really offer. So my suggestion and recommendation is that there's a way maybe government can be able to really work with many institutions like the one for Robbie to support and train these people so that the free Wi-Fi at the market are various places to be used to really get uh, customers on board instead of just using it to browse the whole day and in Aisha to Evo. <laughs> They're talking about capacity building, especially for the end user, uh, given that we are implementing this. Now, what are the outcomes? You were attending the ICT summit, the Connect Summit uh, in Diani that took place took place last week. Yes. What were the outcomes of this particular summit that was pegged at bringing together various players directed at, you know, um, you know, driving the economy using digital space? There are so many things that came out in a connected summit that took place in Mombasa and I thank to government and Ministry of ICT for ensuring this one happened and uh, during that time there were so many projects that were told to people. Actually it is like we have a lot of things that most people do not know. So there were so many projects that uh, were displayed or people were doing showcasing on whatever they have. So some of the policies also were taken into place. There were so many people who came, into, uh, came together, people who are in this industry, and they gave their views on what they would want government to improve going forward mm -hmm. and how they can be part of whatever decision which is being made, how they can be able to come up with various policies that uh, can affect how ICT industry is the being recommendations. done. Yes. Now, as we come to a close, give us what would you want the government to change so that we can continue maximizing the digital pay space to drive the economy. One, we will want government where possible to be able to reduce taxes regarding uh, digital services so that we can be able to have more people uh, browsing at a cheaper price. That means when we have more people doing this, if any case they were to collect tax, there will be now mass tax for many people. Instead of maybe, let me assume 16 bob from each individual, you can say maybe 2 bob from each individual so that we have more people doing this. Uh, again, if any case we can have more digital labs in Kenya where we can say because we are going digital, you can we have Oduma currently, but we have a better way of doing this, where people can be able to go to each county and see which other services do we have in Kenya and how can we benefit from them. And that's why Robbie Search Limited is really trying to work with various institutions to become creative, to find a way. How can we create jobs for people who are not able to get it? Mm -hmm. What can they do with, the, uh, with whatever they have? With the whatever they yes, have. So basically we, be, we build capacity in as far as infrastructure is concerned, as well as reduce taxes on digital services to enhance, you know, uh, inroads that are being made on the digital space. Well, we cap it at that in as far as matters of business tonight are concerned. And just to remind you that we are not done and dusted. Our crime and justice premieres tonight. But just to recap what we've heard from our guest, that is none other than Robert Manyala, who is the director and founder of Robby Search, is that we have a long way to go, but the future is indeed digital. We take a quick breather. We'll be back. Do not go away.